Guys, this video has a dubbing feature available, so you can choose your language. To better understand the subject of the video, just click on the gear in the player, go to audio track, choose your language, have a good time. And guys, the young man's trial has come to an end, who allegedly invaded Rockstar Games just over a year ago ago, making one of the biggest leaks in the gaming world. And the result was not good for him. Take a look. So guys, how are you? Sen in play here again, guys. Just over a year ago, on September 18th, it happened without undoubtedly one of the biggest leaks in the gaming world. And curiously or not, the game involved was nothing more. Less than GTA 6. I confess to you that when this leak happened, I almost didn't believe it. Without a doubt, I fell out of my chair when I saw the first images and found that, in fact, it was a legitimate leak. And the person largely responsible for this leak was nothing else less than a 17-year-old at the time, who used just an Amazon Fire Stick, a mouse, and the television from your hotel room. And well, guys, just over a year after this event, the young man was tried and his arrest was ordered for an indefinite period. In other words, the guy got life in prison, guys. But stay tuned for today's video, I will be commenting on all these details for you. But first, don't forget to arrive, leaving a heavy like to strengthen and clicking below on sign up button, it's free, and activate the bell with all notifications so you don't miss our new GTA 6 videos and more. But first, here's a special message for you. Hey, you there who does video editing, have you ever thought about working on the San In Play channel and on top of that join our race in the final stretch of waiting for GTA 6? So this chance is for you. Why the San In Play channel is hiring new editors. And the first requirements are that you are a fan of the San In Play channel and also from the GTA franchise. This will be very important in your work. Additionally, you need to have knowledge of Adobe Premiere and After Effects, knowledge of Photoshop. At least the basic level and service description is simple. The chosen one will need to do video editing, both image edits, audio and video cuts, add GCs, additions of inserts and simple effects, as well as creating cuts of the main videos and adapting them to the shorts format. Scale 9 by 16. In addition, the chosen candidate must have knowledge of Photoshop for creating thumbnails to be used here in the videos. The candidate must be of legal age, over 18 years old and must have flexible working hours. In addition, of course, to having internet and a PC with hardware enough to perform editing tasks. If you fit this description and have had experience with video editing, send an email to this address here with your information and also demonstrations of work you have already done. Remembering guys, this is a serious job opening. We need someone who is capable to follow up here on the channel's video edits. So if you don't meet any of these requirements or are not a person who is willing to work together with us, Please don't send a message, okay? This contact is for those who really want to work seriously. So, what are you waiting for? Go straight to the email, send your information, and who knows? You can't work soon here on the San In Play channel. See you there. And guys, Arian Kurdic, famous Rockstar Games invader. He was tried this week in Oxford, England. He became known worldwide after, on September 18th, make one of the biggest leaks in the gaming world, where around 90 GTA 6 development clips, more specifically of bug reports, were shared across the internet. And as if all this wasn't serious enough, he did all these activities in the name of a cyber hacking group called Lapsistaller, which is being considered by the court like an attack by virtual bandits. And when he committed this crime, he was already on trial for other activities he had committed of the same nature. To other technology companies which are very well known, okay guys? Between them, a NVIDIA, BTEA Revolution, which is a North American payments company. So you can see that the guy is not a simple invader, right guys? He already had a lot of experience in what he was doing and at the time he was only 17 years old. And besides, besides he invaded all these companies and still managed to hack Rockstar Games and distribute more than 90 gameplays of the game. He also committed the crime of blackmailing the company, not only from Rockstar Games, but also from these other previous companies. In addition to carrying out the invasions, he also blackmailed the companies asking for money not to disclose the material or even industrial secrets that were very important to these studios. Just to give you an idea, Rockstar Games declared officially that for them to achieve recover from the damage that Courtage caused to Rockstar, they had a loss of over $5 million. So, guys, it was something really big that happened. Accounting for all companies, 
he caused more damage of $10 million to date. So the guy really caused a lot of loss to these companies and the judge considered that he understood within the process that this ability he has to commit cyber crimes categorizes it as a high risk to the public and society. So he must remain in prison. But for those who are not connected, he won't be locked up in a regular jail. He had already been considered unfit to respond to this process because he was considered to have autistic appearance, including at an acute level, right guys? So he suffers from acute autism that has influence on these activities that he committed. However, despite this, people thought it was unfair because he carried out one of the biggest attacks on companies in recent years, one of the biggest leaks in the gaming industry, and he was simply considered unfit to answer the process. But that didn't stop there, right guys? What seemed like a strategic way out for him, in the end, it ended up hurting him a lot. Because his sentence will force him to be imprisoned in this hospital for the rest of his life, or at least until the doctors consider that it no longer presents a risk to society. And there were also some aggravating factors to reach this penalty, even because they heard some testimonies from the people responsible. By arrest in the short courage and was considered hostile conduct on his part. He even acted violently when he was in custody and had dozens of reports of injuries to people who took care of him and the police officers, even causing material damage. In other words, it was not a peaceful prison, he didn't go well to the hospital, he was calm. He actually several times, he tried to resist arrest and after passing a series of tests, including psychologists and psychiatrists. It was considered that Kurdish did not carry out these practices with criminal intent, according to the analysis of psychiatrists. It's like he did it just then due to his great ability to master technology. He kind of did it there as something he was interested in and looked for delve into not with the intention of making money or expose the company in some way. At least that was the interpretation that the psychiatrists had in his case. But that doesn't exonerate him, right guys? Because even this evaluation carried out on his mental health, it was identified that he continues to express the intention to return to crime. So when he was asked, he said that he wants to continue doing these things he's been doing. And the quickest he got out of there, he would continue to commit these cyber crimes and they also identified that he has a strong motivation to do this which is not a criminal motivation but it's something he really wants to do and will probably continue doing so after leaving there so he continues to be a risk to society that's why he received this life sentence and as i mentioned here back on september 18th when he carried out this invasion of rockstar games he was already under sentence he was even on bail for hacking nvidia BT and Revolution, and he was even under police protection at the hotel that he was staying at, called the Travel Lodge. In other words, guys, the guy even had the police at the door from his hotel room, which is actually how he was caught. He was already convicted straight away because he was caught in the act, as he was already prohibited from using any type of computer or microcomputer. He simply broke the rule, and he didn't really use a computer. But he was caught in the act in his hotel room carrying out this hacking of GTA 6, using an Amazon Fire Stick, a mouse, your hotel TV, and a cell phone. So the guy was very skilled and audacious. One of his defense lawyer's arguments now the official trailer is out for GTA 6, and which had more than 100 million views in just two days. And Kurdish lawyers have already stated that the activities that he practiced in this Rockstar Games invasion, the leaks, did not harm the game developer, because, like you saw, it still continues to be a success and had a lot of views. So his lawyers asked for them to take this into consideration. But the judge named Lee's decreed that in addition to this invasion of the leaks he caused, there were real casualties and real damage caused by attacks carried out by the Lapsus Dollar organization. So what he committed was something very serious. Beyond the hack and leak alone, it was integrating to this criminal group, in addition to also practicing extortion, which I think it was one of the biggest aggravating factors of the crime he committed. And guys, just taking a break from the content of this video here to introduce you to our new sponsor, and who has supported our channel and allows videos like this one to reach you. And guys, our new sponsor is BC Game, which is a gaming and sports betting website. Did you know that sports betting is already legal in Brazil? But just remembering that to play in the BC Game you have to be over 18, 
So if you are underage, don't gamble and you won't put all your money there either, especially money to pay your bills. The purpose of the site is to have fun and you can win but also lose money. So use that money left over from lunch that you won't miss. And at BC Game you can support your favorite team with much more emotion, being able to bet on whether he will be champion or even how many goals he will score. You can even bet on the biggest teams in the series the Brasileiro, Italian, Spanish, Arabic, French championships and much more. In addition to being able to bet on eSport championships like League of Legends, plus more than 80 sports for you to support and win. And the good thing about sports betting is that it is much safer. If you are afraid that you are being scammed by the site, just check the result of the game and find out whether your bet was successful or not. And in addition, BC Game is a partner of Cloud9, which is a League of Legends sports team from a national team Argentinian and also football player David Luiz, in addition to having all licenses and operating registrations of Master Game nowadays, bringing much more transparency and credibility to you. And if you have any problems with the platform, if you can solve it easily, because their support is 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, directly on the website. EABC Game it is the only site that gives you prizes without requiring any deposit. That's right, every day you will win a spin at roulette which gives many prizes and all the user needs to do is spin. Register on the platform without requiring any deposit and you can even win 99,000 Brazilian reals instantly. Also, using my San and Play coupon link, you will get the 180% first deposit bonus i.e. what you deposit will be multiplied by 180%. And the best of all is that deposits and withdrawals can be made through PX. And you can make your deposit from 10 Brazilian reals, but don't forget to use my link, the Sanin Play coupon for you to guarantee 180% multiplication on your first deposit. But so, what are you waiting for? Go to the first pinned comment, access the link and come have fun at BC Game 2. Play responsibly. And good guys, in my opinion, I don't think what's happening there is fairer. If the guy really is considered unfit to respond criminally there behind bars, how an attacker would usually end up, he ended up leading to this loss of indefinite time in hospital prison. I think that, in the end, guys, although he suffers from the autistic aspect and has all the difficulties, these problems he has been facing, he must be held responsible for the actions he took, because at the end of the day, it was one of the biggest leaks in the gaming world so far, and the guy had already committed other invasions of large companies. You can see that the guy is highly skilled, very young, there's still a lot of time ahead, so imagine where you can end up. A guy like that, it has already been identified by several studies that people who suffer from the autistic aspect, they can be very intelligent. They even have IQ levels very high precisely because of the high focus they have. So he's a guy who's naturally very intelligent, and due to this condition, it only enhances his intellectual level and the level of skill the guy has, right guys? And you can see that even though he has no intentions criminals, the guy is out of control and wants to continue practicing, so he didn't regret what he did. He would continue doing this and he would know where the guy would end up. It brought a lot of damage to Rockstar Games, to the fans, consequently. In my point of view, because I think that from the moment that the experience that the studio wanted to give us was ruined, we ended up losing money too. As much as it was for me, even more than it was content for you, it was something positive. We made a lot of content here on the channel. The public also got to know the game, knowing that it was really in development. But in the end, this all hurt us. I even believe that this official announcement of GTA 6 was delayed and at the end of the day guys, the guy would continue without any type of responsibility for it. Just because he has this autistic aspect, he wouldn't be condemned. But in the end, I thought the judge's judgment was very fair and the guy will end up answering for what he did. Remembering that there was another young man too, who was arrested at the time, that he was already of legal age and he is also being held responsible. Still don't have much information about the outcome of his trial, but at least their Arian Kurdage has his sentence ordered and I think that's very important guys, because otherwise it would become a big mess if crimes of this type are left without any consequences. Soon the old man won't even have to wait any longer the game launches, it will end up being leaked. For those who are following the gaming world, you know which recently had one of the biggest leaks in the gaming world. And now yes, I think it's the biggest leak of all that happened with Insomniac Games. Several of their games were leaked 1.7 gigabytes of the leak. Almost two Terrison titles like Marvel's Wolverine, Venom, Ratchet and Clank, among other titles. I think there was even a Spider-Man game that leaked too. New X-Men game, new IP towards the end of 2030. Actually Marvel Spider-Man 3 was also leaked. So guys, practically every game that they were working until 2030 were leaked until 2031. So it's something very exhausting, very harmful for the studio. I think this could even lead to the studio going bankrupt.
for them ruining almost 10 years of the studio's work. So it's something totally harmful the guys even leaked the build of the Wolverine game. We're playing on the internet already with gameplay being able to access the game, so it's something very serious the level that this type of leak is reaching. In the past, the leak was an image, it was information, one thing or another. Now I've already completed the game build, understand? Soon the kids won't even be able to wait for GTA 6. As much as we fans, we're looking forward to the game. Soon bro it might leak the build of the game too and people will be able to access it ahead of time. So I find that something regrettable. Recently, also about to come out, the game trailer. We had a gameplay leak coming from a friend, from the son of a Rockstar employee. We also had there. The leak of the trailer ahead of time made it up to Rockstar Games brought forward the release of the trailer because of a leak. So what point will this stop? If there is no adequate justice for this type of practice, if there really isn't a trial that is consistent with these activities, in a little while, guys, it won't even be worth it for the studios to produce anymore, because guys invest millions. And in this case, man, six games, more than six games were leaked, almost 10 years of the studio's work was leaked, it was thrown away. So it is definitely a loss that must reach the house of billions, something very, very heavy. What happened with Insomniac Games? And it's just unfortunate, guys. So here goes history, a trial that is even unprecedented. Due to the circumstances we had there, the final result of the trial of the Arian Kurdich, the Rockstar Games hacker, right? The guy who invaded Rockstar Games and managed to leak GTA 6 before anyone else. This information came directly from BBC London by journalist Joe Tidy who had access to this process and participated in the trial there and all this information firsthand. But what did you think of Arian Kurdich's trial, the Rockstar Games invader, the guy who leaked GTA 6? Was it fair what happened to him? Comment your opinion below, which is much more than important. Let's exchange ideas about this. And don't forget to join BC Game. Our sponsor uses my Sen in Play coupon and secure your first deposit bonus. And if you like the content of this video, don't hesitate, leave a heavy like to strengthen that your support is much more than important. Click the sign up button below, it's free. And also on the bell activating all notifications, so whenever there is a new video of GTA 6 and many more, you will be the first to know. Remembering that members of our channel have access to videos before everyone else, your name is displayed on the screen, access to gifts, exclusive figures and much more. Do you want to guarantee all these benefits? So click on the become a member button below and come be a part from the San and Play Mafia U2. Or by clicking on the super thanks button from one Brazilian real. You leave your message personalized and still supports our work. Run now on our social networks that are showing here on the screen. There I always post everything for you firsthand and you can send suggestions for new videos, just like this one. And there is more information about our editor vacancy here on the channel. And it doesn't stop there. Choose one of these videos from a channel standing play that here only has video for you and continue following us. Thank you very much for your kindness. I hope you liked it more video from the channel. We're together. That hugging goodbye.